Good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 10th. Please follow your B schedule. The GSA dance will be on Saturday, March 14th, and all are welcome. This year's theme is the 60s and attire is informal. Members will be selling tickets either in the cafe or near the commons during lunches. Tickets are $8 in advance and $10 at the door. You can pick up behavior contracts during lunch at the table, in the office, or outside B108. Attention seniors, the Quaker County Community Education Association is offering two $1,000 awards for graduating seniors majoring in education. Quaker Town Elementary is also offering a $1,000 award opportunity to their former students. You must have attended Quaker Town Elementary for at least four years to be eligible. Applications for these awards can be found in Navion's or in the guidance office. The deadline to apply is early in May. Reading Olympics will meet after school today in the library. We will finalize our t-shirt design and set our schedule for the rest of the month. If you are planning on participating but cannot be at the meeting, you must see Miss Knight for more information. Now to Johnny Thunder with the weather. Thanks, Joe. We are in for mostly cloudy skies today compared to yesterday. Today we're expecting mostly cloudy skies with some scattered rain showers, mainly this afternoon, with highs in the mid in the mid 60s. Tonight we're expecting an early a shower a rain shower early this evening, then partly cloudy overnight with lows in the mid 30s. We're expecting it to be dry tomorrow. Now before I go, I just want to give a shout out to the varsity baseball team and good luck in and good luck in Myrtle Beach later this week where the weather should be mostly dry and warm. Now back to Jordan and Joe with the news. The Panther Cafe will not be open on Wednesday, March 11th until 10 a.m. Coffee will be served in the main cafeteria. Join the Fellowship of Christian Athletes this Thursday, March 12th at 2.30 p.m. in the Cyber Commons. There will be an awesome snack, lesson, and a game. All are welcome and we hope to see you there. Also, please check out our Instagram at FCAQtown and join the Remind by texting at QtownFC to 81010. Now to a special announcement from Quakertown's own Leprechaun. To get in the spirit of St. Paddy's Day, NHS will be hosting a Leprechaun Loot competition where you must guess the number of co chocolate coins and the cauldron placed outside the library. It costs only $1 to place your vote during both lunches and it will run until the 16th. The person with the most accurate guess will earn all the candy in the cauldron, which will be dropped off to the winner by a special guest. Help spread St. Paddy's cheer and support NHS by placing your guess. Now back to Jordan and Joe with the news. There will be an annual Youth and Prejudice Conference for high school students at Muhlenberg College on Tuesday, April 21st and Wednesday, April 22nd. The conference includes lessons and a play about the Holocaust and attendance is $3 per student, checks only. The conference starts at 9.15 a.m. and ends at 1.30 p.m. You must be registered by March 23rd and please contact Mrs. Fuller in B125 for more information. Did you know what you're doing for the summer of 2021? Want to do something incredible and unforgettable? Maybe see one of the largest waterfall formations in the world? Visit a city bustling with music, culture, dancing, and diversity. Then sign up to the travel to Argentina. They have spaces available on our trip for the summer of 2021. And if you have any, or if you'd like more information, please attend the informational meeting at Sherry Middle School on Thursday, March 26 at 7 p.m. There will be donor drive days available for those who would like to attend Minifon's main event. These meetings will be held today during First Pride and tomorrow during Second Pride. Both of these meetings are in Miss Hess's room B118. I'm Jordan. And I'm Joe. Have a great day.